Welcome to The Platform, a series designed to give the body of Christ a platform to share all that God is doing. Revelation 12, 11 says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. It started in 2018. Um, we had, um, at that time, it was time for our eight year anniversary. Uh, we had a conversation with Bishop and um, to actually bless our um, marriage. And at that time, um, he asked us uh, where, were we, uh, where were we living? And we told him an apartment. Um, so that pretty much started the journey as far as the whole home, wanting to purchase a home process. A process that started on their eighth wedding anniversary. The Halls used this milestone as motivation to become homeowners, and our bishop was eager to coach them through this transition. From that moment, we uh, got connected with our realtor, we got connected with our lender. Um, at that point, they let us know that we were a little bit of a distance away as far as being able to purchase, and which was not a problem. We knew that our journey ended with us being in our home. The Halls knew that they would cross the finish line, but they first had to overcome some hurdles. They needed to pay off two car loans and a student loan. The student loans was the issue. Uh, one of my student loans had um, some bad issues going on with it. Uh, some things I've done in the past didn't take care of the right way. So it presented the, probably one of the biggest challenges. One thing that we did and we would advise anyone to do, um, as we were checking in with Bishop, we were always 100% transparent uh, with him because how in the world can you properly be coached if you're hiding information? Right. So Bishop's told us to uh, would stay in the apartment for right. one more year exactly. and uh, pay the automobiles off. And he said, waiting is no, no, no harm in waiting. He said, because when you wait, God would just sweeten the pot. Yep. During this season of waiting, the halls watched uplifting testimonies of Mount Gilead members getting into new homes. They remained positive, even though the first three contracts they put on homes were all denied. Finally, they received the call they had been waiting for. Our realtor uh, gave us a call um, and she was actually inside of what is our home now. And so she mm -hmm. was giving um, us, us a tour of the home and um, I just could not believe just how ma immaculate and beautiful and new that it was. Uh, probably not even an hour after she submitted the offer, uh, we got word that we had a ratified agreement, which meant that they had accepted the offer. And so we were under contract. It's a cus custom built home built in 2019 one owner for not even a lot of time in a home, maybe less than a year. Um, a lot of custom features, uh, granite countertops, uh, pretty much a custom made kitchen, which is great for me. So it's just it's amazing that uh, counter, um, the cabinets are the same and throughout the whole house and it's just, it's, it's immaculate, it's immaculate home. The uh, backsplash uh, goes, uh, adorns the kitchen. Right. As you can see, uh, just upgrades as far as the craftsman doors, the uh, recess, the, lights the recess the lighting in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Um, we actually uh, have a fenced in backyard. God blessed us with uh, almost a half acre of land. So our home sits on a half acre of land. Um, again, uh, I mean, just custom, it's a craftsman home. The bathrooms, um, they're on a level with the tile, the custom tile going all the way up with the bench that's built mm -hmm. into the, the um, owner suite, uh, the waterfall, waterfall faucets. I mean, it's just upgrade after upgrade. So God truly did it. And like the man of God said, if you have to wait a little bit, he will sweeten the pot. And that's what God did. He sweetened yep. the pot. He sure did.